Hello, fruit enthusiasts. Picture yourself amidst an ocean of fresh, juicy, homegrown fruits. Sounds like paradise, right? Welcome to the wonderful world of orchards, a place where nature's bounty is right at your fingertips. Orchards are more than just fruit factories, though. They're havens of tranquility, sources of immense satisfaction, and a testament to the wonders of nature's cycle. Imagine waking up to the chirping of birds nestled among the branches of your very own apple trees, or the soft rustle of leaves as a gentle breeze whispers through your peach grove. Picture the thrill of spotting the first blush of ripeness on your cherries, or the joy of biting into a pear, freshly plucked from the tree. But the beauty of an orchard extends beyond the sensory. It's also about the journey. The journey of choosing the perfect spot for your trees, of selecting the varieties that will thrive in your backyard, of nurturing them from saplings to mature fruit-bearing trees, and finally, of reaping the fruits of your labor. In this video, we'll guide you through each step of this journey. We'll help you select the right location for your orchard, choose the ideal fruit trees, plant and care for them, and we'll share some foolproof tips for a bountiful harvest. So. Are you ready to turn your dream of owning an orchard into reality? Embark on this fruitful journey with us. Let's dive right in. Location, location, location. It's not just for real estate. It's crucial for your orchard too. When it comes to growing a successful orchard, the first step is choosing the right location. It's the foundation upon which all your fruity dreams will be built. So let's dive right in. Sunlight. It's the lifeblood of your trees. Your orchard needs a solid six to eight hours of sunlight each day. So when you're scouting for the perfect spot, think about where the sun travels across your property. You want to avoid placing your orchard in the shadow of large buildings or other structures that could block that precious sunlight. Now let's talk about soil. It's not just dirt. It's the medium that provides your trees with essential nutrients. The ideal soil for most fruit trees is well-draining and rich in organic matter. A simple soil test can tell you a lot about your soil's composition and pH level. It's a small step that can save you a lot of headaches down the line. Spacing is another crucial consideration. Your fruit trees need room to grow both above and below ground. Above ground, you want to ensure that your trees have ample space to spread their branches. This helps maximize sunlight exposure and promotes better air circulation, reducing the risk of disease. Below ground, the roots need room to spread out and anchor the tree. So how much space do you need? Well, that depends on the type of fruit tree. Dwarf varieties may need as little as 10 feet between trees, while standard varieties may require up to 20 feet. It's always a good idea to do a little research on your chosen fruit tree varieties before planting. And finally, to help you select the best location for your orchard, we've prepared a map graphic highlighting the ideal orchard zones. It takes into account factors like sunlight, soil type, and spacing to help you make an informed decision. So remember, the perfect spot for your orchard is just as important as the trees you plant. With location sorted, let's explore the exciting world of fruit trees. It's like stepping into a candy store, but here the candy grows on trees and is all natural. Apples, peaches, cherries, oh my. Each fruit tree has its own personality, and the ones you choose will set the tone for your orchard. Think of apple trees known for their resilience and versatility. They can withstand colder climates and still bear those crisp, juicy fruits we all love. Or perhaps you're more of a peach person, drawn to the sweet, succulent flavor of a sun-ripened peach. These trees thrive in warmer zones, basking in the sunlight, and rewarding you with a harvest fit for a king. Then there are cherries, the crown jewels of the fruit world. Cherry trees are a sight to behold, their blossoms painting your orchard in hues of pink in the spring, followed by the rich red fruits in the summer. They prefer a good balance of climates, not too hot, not too cold. But the choice doesn't stop at the type of fruit. You'll also need to decide between mature and young trees. Mature trees are like the wise old sages of your orchard. They've seen a few seasons and are ready to bear fruit sooner. On the other hand, young trees are like eager youngsters, full of potential. They might take a little longer to start producing, but with the right care, 
they'll grow alongside you, providing bountiful harvests for many years. Remember, your fruit trees are more than just providers of delicious treats. They're living, breathing beings. They'll grow with you, adapting to your care and attention. And in return, they'll provide shade on a hot day, a place for birds to nest, and of course, those tantalizing fruits that make all the effort worthwhile. Choose wisely because these trees will be your companions for years to come. So, take a deep breath and let's embark on this journey together. It's time to choose your fruit trees and bring your orchard to life. Now that we've chosen our fruit trees, it's time to get our hands dirty. Let's dive in and plant these beautiful young trees that are just waiting to grace our orchard with their presence. Our planting process is a simple one. Begin by digging a hole that's twice as wide and just as deep as the root ball of your tree. Gently place the tree in the hole, making sure it's level with the ground. Backfill the hole with soil, ensuring that no air pockets are left around the roots. Water it generously right after planting. This helps the soil settle around the roots and gives your tree a nice, moist environment to start its life in your orchard. But planting is just the beginning. Our trees need regular care to grow strong and bear fruit. Let's talk about three key aspects of tree care. Watering, pruning, and pest control. Firstly, watering. Young trees thirst for water. In the first year, water your trees once a week, soaking the soil deeply. This encourages the roots to grow deep into the ground. As the tree matures, you can gradually reduce watering. However, in dry spells, be ready to water your trees as they can get quite thirsty. Next is pruning. Pruning is like giving your tree a haircut. It helps shape the tree, removes dead or diseased wood, and encourages the growth of fruit-bearing branches. In the early years, focus on shaping the tree. As it matures, prune to maintain its shape and health. Remember, a well-pruned tree is a happy, fruitful tree. Lastly, pest control. An orchard can be a buffet for pests. Regularly inspect your trees for signs of disease or insect damage. If you spot any, act quickly. There are many organic pest control options available that can help keep your trees healthy without resorting to harsh chemicals. Remember, a little care goes a long way in ensuring a healthy and fruitful orchard. With these tips in your gardening arsenal, you're well on your way to enjoying the fruits of your labor, quite literally. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the harvest. The culmination of all your hard work, patience and care. There's a magic in the air when it's time to pick the fruits you've nurtured from tiny blossoms into ripe, juicy delights. It's not just about gathering the fruits, it's about celebrating the fruits of your labor. Imagine walking through your orchard, the sun warming your back as you carefully pluck each fruit from the branches. The satisfying snap as the stem breaks away, the weight of the fruit in your hand. And then, the taste. The first bite into a fruit you've grown yourself is nothing short of extraordinary. It's an explosion of flavor, a sweet reward for all your efforts. Harvesting isn't a chore, it's a joy. It's a family affair, a chance for everyone to come together and share in the bounty. Children can learn about the cycles of nature, the thrill of discovery as they find hidden fruits among the leaves. And of course, there's the satisfaction of seeing your fruit basket fill up with the freshest, most flavorful fruits you've ever tasted. But the joy doesn't end with the harvest. Once you have your fruits, there are countless ways to enjoy them. You can use them in your favorite recipes, from pies and jams to salads and smoothies. Or you can simply enjoy them fresh, savoring the natural sweetness that no store-bought fruit can match. You can also share the fruits with your neighbors, friends and family. There's something special about giving a gift that you've grown yourself. It's a gift of love, care, and nature's bounty. The joy of harvesting your own fruit is incomparable. It's a connection to nature, a sense of accomplishment, and a taste experience that's truly unique. So what are you waiting for? Start your orchard journey today. We've had a fruitful journey today, haven't we? We've explored the thrill of choosing the perfect location, selecting your favorite fruit trees, planting and caring for them. We've seen the joy of harvesting and savoring the fruits of your labor. This is just the beginning. There's so much more to learn and enjoy in the world of home orchards. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more insightful guides. Stay tuned for our next video, where we dive into the world of homemade jam. Until then, keep growing.